Hello and welcome to another live Polymer Jam. Um, I've converted this, it's going to be a podcasty kind of thing. It was just going to be an audio podcast. I did like three episodes. Pixie, my lovely daughter, or edited those together for me. But now I'm just going to make a live video. Um, very exciting. Polymer 2 is nearly coming here. Um, I'm not that excited actually. Um, things I don't really like about it is classes. They don't really like classes. I mean, the functional programming classes don't really fit into that. Don't they? It doesn't really, classes, in my opinion, don't really fit into JavaScript very well. So, hey ho, anyway, we're going to be using them. Um, I'd love to be able to understand them properly. I think they're kind of actually a barrier to um, learning, and I don't want any barriers to learning because. I'm very dyslexic and need to relearn everything all the time, which is why I made my um, why I made this element maker was because I couldn't remember how to do stuff. So you know, this lets me focus one thing at a time and let me make my elements. Now I noticed that my my QR code thing wasn't working very well. For example, if I put in TCCC. Let's get rid of my keyboard. Uh, accessibility. Nope. Well, normally I get an error message. Now I'm not getting anything to. There you go, an error message. Um, so it's not really u that useful. I mean, obviously it works with um, some links and things, but sometimes people might want to type in something else. So I'm getting rid of that element and going to start again. And I'm deleting it from GitHub and I'm going to use this one. Um, this library looks great. Um, they've obviously thought about stuff and they're still keeping it up to date. So that's wonderful. So first of all, I need to make a wrapper for it. So I started this um, QR thing for them. And I think I've already got an element that's no, I haven't. Okay, so this is the, the script that I'm going to want to import. B and uh, then this obviously has to be JavaScript. Script it, it, it put. looks right to me. Um, yeah, and then source it. I think that's right. Oh, you see, it's just terrible. I can't remember the anything. And obviously, this is an element, so I'll, it's going to go in with all the other elements. I need to go up a directory, then into there, and then I, I looked this up earlier. I don't know exactly what CJS stands for, but it will do for me. Might be it's a versioning. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? And then close my scare input tag. And that's it. That will that should import it. Now obviously I'm gonna have to include that on the server side. Anyway, while I was at the conference, um I was I've been trying to get my element maker to work offline because that would be awesome. But for that to happen, I also need to have the library open elements offline. And when I tried to save everything in the catalog to the disk on first load, <laughs> uh, it didn't work. Oh, this is another element I'm working on to um, display how fast a bike goes depending on how the gears are set so uh, we can get a representation so you know what gears to pick. Also give you wind speed resistance, an idea of wind speed resistance if you're sitting up or if you're in a um, tucked position or you're on a recumbent bike and uh, yeah that, that, that kind of guesstimates so that, that should be fun. But yeah this kind of thing so if I um, now I've turned on the Platinum Element Service Worker 
and didn't give it any parameters, hardly any, apart from say, try and use the, get, just get this information as fast the way you possibly can. It's the fastest strategy. So it says, is it in the cache? And also, is it online? And whichever comes back first wins. Also, uh, if it gets the cache first, it will then pull, it will update the cache with the results of the, um, so I don't know why all websites don't have that switched on. That would be awesome. Uh, and it's no longer trying to cache anything. It just says, right, just just do that. And it works quite well. I just try turning off my internet and see what happens. Now I'll show you. Uh, internet. Networking here. Right, turn it off. No network. <coughs> now the first thing that used to happen is that then my demo wouldn't update because it's an iframe that requires to pull in the um, Polymer library. Um, so let me see. I was thinking I'd make a change. But let's turn this seat yellow. Oops. Hash. Is that yellow? No, that's bright blue. Uh, that's still blue. All right, so red. Anyway, you get the idea. It's updating. It's awesome. So there's a yeah, red seat and then a yellow seat, bright yellow. Ooh, horrible. And turn back to white. So you can see as I update my code, it updates that. And that's why using service worker because as you can see down here, we're not online. So that's great. Um, oh, maybe you can't see because I'm over it. But uh, believe me, I'm offline. Um, I can demonstrate that by uh, reloading the BBC player. Oh, look, I'm offline. Because they haven't got a service worker. Um, Another little element I was working on, but don't worry about that. Done that. Um, so this one, anyway, I'm going to rerun my QR code, so I don't don't need this element up. So you can see in the URL it stores everything that I've written in here. I'll go to open elements. I'm still secure, and hopefully it will load. There we are. So. BBC is offline, but I'm not offline. <laughs> well, I say I'm not offline. There we go. And hopefully I, I can also go to make a new element. This should also load all my elements. Fingers crossed. So I haven't um, refreshed the cache of this page for a while. Hmm. Also, as I'm doing the screen, this Chromebook isn't exactly the most powerful thing on earth. Um, probably one of the least powerful things, but there we go. So, while doing a screen, everything runs slow. Slowness, I'm not worried about. It's the network traffic I would really like to save on. Hello. Now, I'm Fran, but I'm for you. Oh, right. Are you looking for a Oh, he's in the tour for a little bit. 